Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, welcome to another Friday here at Giga Texas. It's the 23rd of September, 2022, and a lot is going on. Today, we start with a pre-dawn flight into two key areas of the factory. One is the casting machine structure. The other is the 4680 production area of the main factory. But before we get into that, I just want to say all of my cameras have been upgraded. I do have all of the hardware that I need and I am ready. So let's get started and let's take a look first here inside the casting machine structure. Now what you see here is on the north end of that uh, section and we see some scaffolding, some new equipment being installed and a general just reconfiguring of how this end of the casting machine structure appears inside. We also go a little bit farther to the south and we take a look at where the 9,000 ton gigapress casting machines should be installed. And although we don't see those yet and I haven't seen any deliveries of parts yet, we do see some earthwork in the foundations as you can see with these images. We also go over to the 4680 battery cell production on the other side of the main factory and we take a look inside to see how things are progressing, what is the activity level, and generally how does everything look as we all are expecting and hoping to see 4680 production ramp. So as you can see by these images here, there is a lot of activity going on which is outstanding. There is one other area I want to talk about today which is a new development and that is on the southwest corner of the main building. As you can see by these images, they are now painting this side of the building as well. So we've been speculating on whether or not they would be continuing the painting on the rest of the building, and this answers that question, at least in the southwest corner of the building. So as always, there is a lot to see. We'll visit the electrical substation, we'll visit the cathode plant, we'll see what's going on on the east side and on the south end as well. So make sure you watch the whole video, a lot of narration, a lot of discussion within it as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great Friday and have a great weekend. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas. We start off immediately at the casting machine structure looking inside and a lot to see. On the left hand side you can see some of those racks with the castings ready to go outside. In the picture itself right here, you can see two foundations and there's some earthwork going on here. These are where I believe the 9,000 ton Giga Presses will be installed. And as you can see, there's continuing to do some reconfiguration work. Now these foundations have been here for some time, but it looks like they need some rework. You can also see the four active Giga presses at the other side of the building. There's two on the left and there's two on the right and all four of them are operational. We can also see where some of these vehicles and the man lift are currently parked. There's a large open area between the windows and the casting machines at this time. As we continue to fly further to the north, we can uh, see how the end of this section with the casting machines blends into the next section which has a lot more of the materials and other items stored temporarily. Now as we go right past these columns, if you look at the other end of the building, you can see some stairs. These lead up to various floors of the paint shop. And just as we get past this column, you'll be able to see that pretty clearly. You can also see some sort of uh, ducting and other equipment right near those stairs. Now as we continue further to the north, we can see quite a bit of materials have been unboxed, including some of these yellow robots. And I'm not sure where they're going to be used, but it looks like they're being prepared for installation somewhere. Quite a bit of materials in this portion of the building. Right next to the man lift in the middle of the screen, you can see another foundation for another gigapress. So another one will be installed. So it'll be at least five, probably six. Now this structure here, this kind of a black uh, shrouded machinery, we've seen this being installed over the last uh, couple of weeks. It looks like they're 
nearing where it may be operational, at least for testing. We can also see several other large machinery right here in the black and white. And uh, it looks like these are close to being operational or under testing as well. And as I wrap around the building, you can kind of get an idea of where this is located and also what the rest of the materials look like. Now, right in front of the drone, you can see kind of this scaffolding or this railing. This is a enclosure that has been added, and I don't know if this is a workshop or offices or what, but it's right here at the base of the windows. As we continue to fly along this corner section of the casting machine structure, you get a pretty good view of a lot of scaffolding around the columns. It looks like they may be preparing to do another bridge crane or at least some work on some of the railings and you can see some of that on the ground with some of the workers right about the middle of the screen. You can also see just how much scaffolding is here on the tops of the columns, the concrete columns. You can see that the bridge crane railings have been removed. So some sort of reconfiguration is going on in this particular location. As I wrap around this part of the building and we look through, you'll be able to see what a bridge crane looks like in the uh, background with that red with the Tesla. So again, you can see where they're working on railings for another bridge crane. I hope that you enjoyed these interior shots of the casting machine and the current status of what's going on inside. Since the weather is perfect and the lighting is actually pretty good, I'm going to continue the flight looking inside and we'll wrap around this part of the building and look at how the 4680 production part of the factory is proceeding. Now this will be on the third floor in kind of the northwest portion of the building. So I'll turn the drone and I'll bring it in and you can see some of the activity that is going on on the third floor. Now right here it looks like this is sort of some offices, uh, maybe uh, where the workers prepare for uh, the work that's going on or maybe monitoring some of the machinery or just some of the planning that is going on. In the background you can see quite a bit of the machinery for the 4680s and all of it appears to be operational at some degree. You can see some workers working on the equipment, some also are pulling out uh, what looks like possibly some battery cells. Uh, I'm not really sure how the process works, but these images and the views through the windows should give you a pretty good view of what the workers are doing and how they are uh, interfacing with the machinery. As you can also see, quite a bit of it is operational. A lot of the lighting is going on. Now there's a bulletin board here. Can't really see what it shows, but it looks like uh, some sort of status board. Continues to see more of the equipment. I think this is where some of the uh, dry cathode uh, material is rolled into the cans, but I'm not 100% sure. As we pass through this uh, location, we get a little bit more into the utilitarian section of the building. Looks like also a break room or a uh, maybe a small mini cafeteria right in this particular uh, section. And we're getting close to the northwest corner of the building. And as you can see, I'm wrapping around right now. So that's a pretty quick view of what this portion of the factory looks like inside. And while I'm here, I'm going to bring the drone up towards the roof so we can take a look at the HVAC ducts and enclosure progress. As you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, still waiting for two uh, more of those enclosures to be completed, but otherwise, not a lot of progress on that particular portion of the factory. So I'll bring the drone here to the platforms for the 4680. You can see how that appears this morning. We can also see this uh, section right here with the white enclosures, kind of got a little bit of wood, some other deliveries and some ducting. 
I think that's still part of the regenerative thermal oxidizer system and parts of it have already been moved inside since my previous video. We can also see more of the equipment for the paint shop here in the green wrapping and some of it in the white wrapping. This has been uh, delivered over the last couple of weeks and we talked about what the SSIISA equipment is for in my previous video. So as I turn the drone towards the east, I notice that there's some kind of plumbing work going on right here between the parking lot and the road. It looks like a reconfiguration potentially for some more irrigation system, but uh, not really sure. I'm going to bring the drone up over the power lines, proceed towards the east, just so you can get a good view of the beautiful sunrise happening right near the battery cathode plant. And just, I wanted to give you this view because I thought it was uh, pretty to, to see and uh, just a nice sunrise at Giga Texas. It's a lot of activity at the electrical substation construction area today, so let's take a tour around here. On the left-hand side of the screen, you see some of the components, some of the steel racking and poles. I had a UK viewer say that I should call the poles pylons, so uh, that's what I'll be doing now. So the, a lot of the pylons that will be used for part of the assembly of the entire electrical substation. You see the stormwater pipes passing underneath the drone. But what I want to show you here is the main construction site has had a number of changes. Some materials have been developed uh, or delivered here. We also see some construction beginning. And on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see this tall drill and or pile driver. This is a great sign. This means that they're going to be doing some work for supports for the actual machinery and equipment for the electrical substation. So um, another milestone beginning here. Now you can see that construction work that's going on. We'll come back to that for a closer view, but I'm going to pull the drone back a little bit more so you can see that they have uh, paved this section of road now over the pipe that uh, we saw in the last video getting the dirt filled back in. And as we speculated, there is in fact a road here as well. So let's get a little bit closer to what they're doing in this section, this is the first formal part of construction for the electrical substation that we see underway. You can see the crews have forms in some of these trenches, and that means that we'll probably see some sort of concrete form here, and then equipment will be mounted on top of this section. We also see some more of the steel deliveries right to the north. These are more of those poles or pylons, as uh, I was told to, uh, to refer to them by my UK uh, viewer. You also see some other equipment uh, on to the left-hand side here that have been delivered. So this is yet another great sign. On the right-hand side of the screen, you see some more work in the water detention pond with this stormwater pipe. It looks like they're doing some form work for some concrete to uh, have as a base of the uh, the flow going into that pipe. More of the materials here on the north end and we also see some activity up with the last, the fourth of four uh, of the mounts for these large steel power lines. What you can see here is they've already drilled the bore, they have put the large rebar cage in and the mount and they've poured concrete. So they've made quite a bit of very fast progress on this in the last 48 hours. I'll move the drone a little bit more towards the east and north just to give you a view here. On the right-hand side of the screen, you can see the second mount that's already been in place. So both of these will see new uh, uh, steel power line pipes or, or poles very similar to the ones that are already uh, in the view right now. So I'll turn the drone back towards the south to give you an overall look at this construction site. And as mentioned, a lot of activity here. So construction is starting to take, uh, take shape onto a new phase of the process.
So a lot of activity near the battery cathode plant as well. So let's take a look around. I'm gonna pull back over this large clearing so you can see how the progress continues. Now a lot, a lot of work here on the eastern half of it, but onto the right you can see that uh, truck. I'm gonna bring the drone over so you can see what's going on. Essentially what they're doing is they are filling in these ponds slowly but surely, starting from the east, working their way to the west. And this is part of reclaiming these old sand and gravel mine remnants. And that's where the ponds and these hills came from. So they are not a natural formation. But it's clear that they want to fill these in and then ultimately flatten this entire section for some future construction. We can also see some of the trucks waiting here, uh, preparing for operation. Looks like they're just going through checkouts of the trucks since it's an early morning. We also see some more excavation work on the right-hand side of the screen. We also see right ahead of the drone, some new trailers have been installed in this section where there's been some earthwork to fill in part of the pond. Looks like this may be uh, a little bit of a workspace or a workshop. We see a roof over those uh, trailers at some point. Now there's some excavation work going on just north of the battery cathode plant. A lot of activity around, so let's take a look. On the lower left-hand side of the screen, you can see some more electrical conduit has been installed. The yellow forms for the perimeter grade beam. Just next to the tree, you see some of the yellow moisture barrier for another large section of the ground slab, and we'll get a better view from the other side a little bit later. You can see the second platform, the temporary platform has been completed. This serves the second floor and the larger one is for the third floor. You see some of the materials uh, laid out here that's uh, constantly being moved up into the, the building and then replenished. A lot of work going on with the interior walls. You can see how that is shaping up. Some of them already have the wall boards on while others have the steel studs and quite a bit of these man lifts uh, at work with uh, with that today. Now I'm going to move towards the west a little bit to show you that there's a clearing location going on over here and they've removed some of the trees. So I don't know if this will be a parking lot, a yard for materials or what, but it looks like there's some further expansion here. Coming back over to the building, you can see how the interior walls are shaping up. You can see those two um, tanks, if you will, the white ones. It looks like they've been uh, moved a little bit in preparation for installation. And from this higher altitude, you can kind of see how they appear. Now I'm going to pivot the drone around towards the north so you can see a uh, different aspect of the building and the wall panel installation. You can see they're on the fourth level for the concrete wall panels right now on this end. Those are those four receiving docks and it looks like uh, possibly a double door for uh, people to enter. I don't see any uh, indications of windows at this time, but I'll continue to monitor that. Now the crane is very busy getting ready to lift more of the wall panels. Right now the one where the worker is on, uh, since they bring them flat on the trailers, which is a little bit different than what we've seen in the past. They have to lift them up with all of these cables. Then they'll move it over towards the building and then they will set it down and then the worker has to reposition some of the cables so that they can bring the wall panel up uh, in, a in a vertical position. And we'll see a little bit of that here after the, the, the time lapse um, between the two video uh, images. So looking here, I'm gonna give you a, a longer look with a bit of a time lapse of how they are unhooking the cables now that the wall panel is standing vertically and they're preparing it for lifting up for further assembly. We can also see that the wall panels on this side of the building are at the fourth level as well, four panels installed. We can see a new doorway on that southeast corner and back to the workers, you can see how the crane is pulling up that uh, uh, part of the uh, lifting device, and now it's positioned for a vertical lift. Now, they ended up taking a little bit longer, so uh, I didn't uh, get a chance to see them picking up this particular wall panel, but you can get an idea of how that happens. Now, speaking of wall panels, you can see how many have been installed here in this large 
open section of the building where I think there's going to be furnaces and calciners installed, but we'll have to see if that uh, holds true. With the lighting, this is a great view of the mezzanine on the third floor, some of the stairs that service that uh, uh, overlooking platform, if you will. You can see quite a few more of the interior walls are being constructed right now. You can see formwork here for the perimeter grade beam with the yellow forms and these very large uh, foundations that are going to be uh, reinforced with a lot of rebar and concrete for some very heavy equipment. You can see the more of the uh, moisture barrier here and all of the workers preparing this section for rebar and then another large concrete pour and that will bring to about 80% of the ground floor poured with concrete once that is complete. So they're moving very quickly. So I'll reposition the drone one more time just to give a view of how the building is coming together uh, today. And we'll fly over the roof and proceed over towards the warehouse on wheels to get an update over there. So the new expanded warehouse on wheels section with all of these trailers seems to be hitting its stride. Uh, we also see many trailers missing, so that's showing that uh, the movement in and movement out of trailers is well underway, and it's part of the warehouse on wheels concept. The new car temporary staging and transportation section uh, shows quite a bit of model-wise here. Don't see any transport trucks at this particular time, but uh, just as a reminder, just because there's not uh, a lot of that here at the moment doesn't mean that uh, activity is ceasing. They're taking quite a bit of these vehicles up to the railhead at Hutto, Texas, about 30 miles away. So there's probably a lot of vehicles up there waiting for the railroad cars to load into. As I approach the east entrance, Give you a good view here you can see on the ground floor they're still storing some of the castings for the body in white i'm not sure why they're using this as a temporary storage location but they are we can see more of the receiving docks on this side with right here four more under construction and they're nearing completion these 10 look like this whole section is nearly completed now which is great to see as they were added to the wall panels at some point about the two months ago. As I continue following to the south here, you can see this trailer. That's the trailer that we've seen painted with the uh, semi truck, the Tesla semi truck. And that has made an appearance here, but I have not been able to get that on camera. But the trailer is here as well, and it has that characteristic uh, painting. Uh, that we've seen in other images around the internet. This small trailer section uh, continues to see some activity. Also, I wanted to look at what was going on with the horizontal drilling. And what we are seeing right now with that excavator is that they're moving some of the uh, material that's part of the drilling process uh, a a away from where the new pipe has just been pulled. So this is the third of three large pole, uh, pipes that were pulled underneath the Colorado River. Um, and it looks like this has just arrived here. So this should complete the three uh, treated water and water pipe pools for this part of the construction. And then now we should start seeing them uh, doing some connections uh, further to the north and to Giga Texas. So another milestone achieved here at Giga Texas. This is how the south part of the factory looks right now. You have that concrete uh, temporary loading ramp and where the vehicles are and we'll see some more activity with concrete excavation and removal in just a bit. I wanted to show you a closer view of this south steel and material staging location and how it appears today quite a bit of materials. And again, the speculation is, is that this will be part of the machinery or the equipment and materials necessary for some sort of construction going on in this concrete location where you see all the vehicles. Now, quite a few of these vehicles are 
just arrived after being manufactured. You can also see in the left-hand side of the screen more vehicles temporarily being stored until they're ready to move. At the bottom of the screen, you can see one of the Model Ys undergoing testing. This is sort of the rumble strip testing, and this is part of the checkout before the vehicles are shipped. And then now we see this excavation becoming a very familiar diamond shape and it is generally following the shape of the concrete that was poured but it looks like um, they may be saving some on the south end but this is what it looks like when they are uh, destroying or doing demolition work on the concrete with this uh, jackhammer and then the other uh, device kind of picks up and breaks up the rest of the concrete for transport now I did notice this, I wanted to show you. This is the painting or actually staining work that is going on. It looks like, uh, at least for right now, white has been selected. I don't know if this is gonna be a similar pattern to what we see on the southeast side, but clearly uh, the beginnings of painting more of the factory walls has uh, begun. So I don't know what you think about this particular color scheme, um, but uh, I like white. I think it's a very uh, bright color and it will make the building stand out. But again, I don't know what type of pattern that they're gonna use. So I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. Put them in the comments of the video. So as I pull away uh, to give you an overall shot of this south end, you can see how the excavation work is going on the left-hand side, how the vehicles look and the overall ramp. Again, thank you very much for watching. It is Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. And uh, uh, thank you again for watching my videos.